With this country's aging population, more and more Canadians are struggling with memory loss. It's a stressful time for them and their loved ones. Tonight, we visit a place near Toronto where some of those affected can take a short but welcome break. CTV's Heather Wright has the story. So we're entering in one of our respite suites here. Decorated like a hotel, but designed with a purpose. So every room has motion sensors to make sure that our members stay as safe as possible. This is a hotel for people living with memory loss, a safe place where caregivers can check in their loved ones when they can't provide the round-the-clock care dementia patients often require. I do everything from, from feeding her to taking her to the washroom. Steve Cherikar's wife Elena is 55 years old and has a rare form of dementia. He is his wife's primary caregiver but can't always be home to look after her. It's state of comfort for me because I know that she's well taken care of. There are about 570,000 Canadians living with some form of dementia right now. That's according to the Alzheimer's Society of Canada. And that number is expected to nearly double over the next 15 years. This is a growing epidemic of memory loss. So each suite's a little bit unique. Ashley Kwong started Memory & Company in 2015 as a day facility for people with dementia, renovating the space this past year to add the 10 private suites. She says this service helps free up a hospital bed, prevents caregiver burnout, and keeps patients in their homes longer. If people are sitting idle at home all the time, the brain gets lazy, it atrophies like every other part of our body. So we have to make sure that we maintain stimulation and helping slow down that memory loss and keeping them out of an institutional setting for as long as possible. Memory and Company says it's the first respite resort in the world and while its $299 a night price tag is not inexpensive. I have fun here, it's lovely. It's a service with guests who are happy to check in. Heather Wright, CTV News, Markham, Ontario.